Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is DeWalt's newest 14 inch string trimmer. And it is a 20 volt max. This isn't a 60 volt max, it's a 20 volt max. It's the DCST922, and it'll be available in the spring of 2020. And one really cool feature about it is that it folds up. There you go. So it takes up less room in your garage or storage shed or whatever. You put it in the trunk of your car easily. So uh, that's a nice feature about this new string trimmer. To latch this folding weed whacker, you just put it in place like this and then you move this lever this way like that and put that right on there and then put it down. Okay, so you're in place now and ready to use the weed whacker. And you can choose between low and high speed. I have it on high right now, that's low, high. And I wanna show you here about the battery compartment. It's extra wide. So I'm thinking DeWalt might be coming out at some point with a really big uh, landscaping type battery because they left extra room here on both sides. This is a 20 volt max tool, so uh, you can use the 60 volt max or the 20 volt max batteries. The guard's about 10 inches and it has a cutter right here to uh, cut your line if it's too long. If you bump it and it's too long, it'll cut your line right there. And you can sharpen this cutter once in a while as needed. This is the motor right here. And this is your air inlets. Now, you need to clean these. Like after you use the weed whacker, uh, take your blower and blow this out. There's one on, I said on both sides. So there's your air inlets and it's important to keep them clean. Okay, there's a safety mechanism right here. You have to depress it and pull the trigger. This trimmer uses 0 0.080 line and they want you to use the round line and they really recommend using DeWalt so that it winds up best. But uh, anyway, it's gotta, be, it's gotta be the round variety of line. And it's a bump trimmer. So you bump this and the line comes out. I've taken the guard off so you can see it better right now. So to, to get the, the head off, you depress this and this. You can do it one at a time or both at the same time if you've got big enough hands. So uh, this is the top right here. It's got a little spring there. And uh, so now we have the, the spool right here. Okay, let's say you have run out of line and there's a little piece stuck in here. So we can do one at a time, but well, that came off. Okay, so here's the little piece of line. Now you can just pull it out and you put this right back on. Just push it in. Okay, so I got it in on both sides there. So I have a new piece of line here that's 10 feet long, and the manual says that it can take up to 20 feet. So what you do is, you see there's a white line right here. You just turn it, you know, depress it a little bit and able to turn it. So with these two lines aligned right here, you take your string and you put it in this hole and it will come out this hole. So we just put this right in here. If you can straighten out your line a little bit, it's, it's easier. Okay, because that's go straight through. So just put this right through here. And there it goes. Okay, so it came out the other side. Okay, so you take the line and you get it even and pull it through like that. So, so you got two basically five foot ends here. Now you use a ratcheting motion. You put your hand on this and you go like this. This is winding up the string onto the spool. Okay, so we got about six inches on each side. 
I'll show you how to install the guard too because when you get it in a box you have to install the guard so you just put it in like that okay that's two screws so so that's how you install the guard now you can measure this let me give this a pull to make sure everything's tight in there now you measure this right here and you let it just cut itself off when you start it up or you can cut it to length right there this is my new DeWalt string trimmer it has a 14 inch swath so it's very good for an area like this this grass is on the overgrown side and it's handling it quite well it takes it down in the middle areas and it's excellent for trimming right next to the sidewalk I used a 4 amp hour battery for this job and at the end of the job I had one out of the three LED lights left when I was done I blew off the sidewalk with a new matching 20 volt max DeWalt blower and then I blew off the string trimmer with the blower which is always a good idea in conclusion I think this string trimmer is perfect for a homeowner wanting to keep his lawn nicely manicured and a really big thing about it that I like is that it is quiet compared to a gas string trimmer I'll put links in my video description for the new DeWalt 20 volt max folding string trimmer both in the kit which includes a battery and a charger and as a bare tool and I'll put a link for the new DeWalt 20 volt max blower and I'll put a link for the new DeWalt 20 volt max heads trimmer which articulates so that you can for instance cut the top of a hedge even if it's over your head thanks I hope this video was helpful